All right, well, we'll still have people coming in, but I want to get started. So welcome everyone to the first um, NWA Gives Getting Started webinar for this year. My name is Sarah and I'm a project manager with Mighty Cause and I'll be leading you through today's presentation. Um, just a quick few housekeeping notes before we jump in. I want to let you all know that the webinar will be recorded and it will be posted into the toolkit. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, yeah, so it will be put into the Mighty Cause Toolkit on the NWA Gives site. Um, and of course, if you have questions during the presentation, you can always use your little Zoom's Q&A kind of chat or questions panel to send them in, and we'll have a Q&A section at the very end of the webinar. Okay, so um, we'll go to the next slide. Alrighty, so I'm Sarah. I'm a project manager for NWA Gives. I'm also joined by my colleague Don, our senior community development manager, who will be leading us through a short demo in a little bit. Um, we also are joined by Chris and Laura from NWA Gives. Um, and they'll be joining us today. They've been working really hard to make sure that everything is a really great event for you all this year. So I'm going to pass the mic over to Chris so that he can say a few words. Hey, well, I want to welcome everybody to the first uh, webinar. Uh, we are so excited about this year's NWA Gives. Uh, this is the fifth year, and we know that uh, we've just been able to generate a lot of momentum and excitement heading into this year. We hope to really build off of that for all the nonprofits that are uh, across Northwest Arkansas. And uh, very excited to introduce to you all Laura Dietrich, uh, she is our new project coordinator and is handling a lot of things behind the scenes. Uh, she's joined by Carol uh, Martin Longmire as well, um, who has uh, been our project coordinator and done a tremendous job. Uh, we're so encouraged by our new technology partner, Mighty Cause, and uh, the new features that are going to be available to all of us uh, as we reach out into the community to uh, hopefully inspire uh, generosity. And of course, we're thankful for the Walton Family Foundation uh, for their communications grant, which makes so much of this project possible, as well as the sponsorship of First Security, uh, who has generously and consistently provided uh, our prize money for the event. And so, uh, hey, I'm looking forward to uh, inspiring generosity with all of you uh, to meet the needs that are there um, in Northwest Arkansas and with our vision to become the most generous community on earth. And so thank you guys for joining in today. Awesome, thank you. Um, so we're super excited to partner with you all this year for NWA Gives. And um, we're really looking forward to providing you all the technical support you need as all of you are getting ready for this big day of giving. So if any of our participants have any questions as you're getting ready, or if you find that one of your donors has a question, um, you are always welcome to reach out to our support team. And you can always email them at support at mightycost.com. Um, just a little bit about Mighty Cause. Mighty Cause is a fully functional organization fundraising suite that organizations can use all year long to raise money for their causes. We've been around since 2006 and we're one of the first platforms to host giving days. So we've been running these giving events for quite a long time and we're just really looking forward to hosting this year's NWA Gives. Alrighty, so we'll get to the agenda. So today we are going to be going over some of the basics for NWA Gives Giving Day. Then we're gonna walk through how to register and customize your organization page on the platform. Um, this is where Dawn will jump in and she'll provide a walkthrough showing you how to edit your page and kind of displaying all the functionality here. And then we'll finish with a Q&A session at the end of the presentation. So if you do have a question while we're presenting, just hold on to those. You can type them into the Q&A section um, and we can get to those at the end. All right, so NWA Gives Basics. NWA Gives is a 501c3 nonprofit led by the NWA Gives Board of Directors. This year's event will take place on April 7th. It's a 12 hour giving day that runs from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Central Time. And early giving is going to start on March 31st. So who can participate? Any organization classified as a 501c3 or a unit of government, such as a library that is serving one of the seven counties of Benton, Washington, Carroll, Madison, Crawford, Franklin, or Sebastian is eligible to participate in NWA Gives. 
Registration is required to participate in this giving day, and there will be a registration fee for participation this year that's dependent on the size of your organization's annual operating budget. So this will range from $25 to $100. Um, so what is a giving day? For those who have not participated in a giving day before, a giving day is an online fundraising marathon that aims to bring people together to support a specific community, a cause, or a space. So the Giving Day hosts organize the event and they rally the organizations to raise funds for their causes. Um, organizations who are participating in the Giving Day can utilize the, all the resources and the tools provided by the host to reach out to their supporters, to help solicit donations, to secure your fundraisers, and to work on really just kind of growing and expanding your network. So how do giving days work? So as we noted, a giving day is a unique campaign presented by a host organization that provides participants the opportunity to capitalize on the urgency of the limited time frame. So in this case, the 12 hours of the giving day and you're to raise the most money for your cause. So giving days are a really exciting way to engage your sponsors, your community partners and other peer to peer fundraisers to help spread the word about your organization and your mission and just really try to raise funds to further your cause. Um, the limited time frame around the event creates a real sense of urgency, so donors tend to respond to this. And plus, with the various prizes that are offered during the day, that is a great you know, way to give fresh messaging opportunities to your donors. All right, so what does your organization need to do? To participate in this year's NWA Gives, you'll first want to register your organization if you haven't already done so. And then once you're registered, you can customize your profile on the NWA, NWA Gives site and start planning for your campaign, so strategizing. Um, you can invite people involved with your organization to participate as peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. And then once early giving has started on March 31st, you can really start promoting your campaign, encouraging donations. But of course, you will also really want to push your donation ask for the actual giving day on April 7th. Alrighty, so we're going to briefly switch gears into the demo that Dawn is going to give you all. Um, we'll be going over what the NWA Gives website looks like, how to register your organization, and then once you're registered, how to navigate your organization profile. So I'm going to stop screen share, and Dawn, if you would like to screen share your yours. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so uh, as Sarah mentioned, we're really excited to partner with uh, the NWA Gives campaign for this year. I'm going to do a uh, platform walkthrough really quickly for everyone since everyone is new. Um, we want to make sure that you know where to find things and um, how to access certain tools and features on your site. Uh, so uh, again, as Sarah mentioned, first thing you want to do if you haven't done so already is register. So when you uh, go online, you just go to nwagives.org to the uh, campaign site, click register now, and it'll bring you to the registration page. If you scroll down, then you'll see the registration box. Um, I am currently logged in, and so it knows that I'm an admin for Mighty Cost Foundation, so it's prompting me to select from that organization. So if you have happened to use Mighty Cost before, and you're already an admin for a nonprofit on the platform, you'll easily be able to choose the um, the nonprofit to, uh, that you are an admin for in the registration form, which is really nice. If you are not, or this is your first time using Mighty Cause, then you can easily uh, enter in your organization name to search for it. It'll search the, through the database to um, find the, uh, if I can talk and type at the same time, find the you know organization that fits the name. So you can choose from organizations down here, um, or if again, you're already an admin, uh, then you just click that, click select, and then it will open up the registration form for you to fill out. So you can go ahead and confirm that the information right here uh, matches your organization's information. Uh, you can answer all the questions, 
that are on the registration form. And then if you need to, you can save and finish later. Uh, otherwise, click continue, and then you can pay the applicable registration fee right within the system. Um, the uh, email that the confirmation that email that you get will include payment information for that um, uh, registration fee. So once you're registered and um, within the registration process, you're also uh, claiming your nonprofit page as well, if, if this is the first time you're using the site. So once you're uh, an admin uh, of your nonprofit, then whenever you need to access your organization page, you can go to nwagives.org and log in. So if you see here, the login icons in the upper uh, right of the page, uh, you can click that, enter in your username and password, and then your login icon will appear. You can upload a picture to it if you want. There's usually some sort of default image. Once you're here, you can easily access your organization page um, through this drop-down menu. So if you click on your organization right here, it'll bring you right to your organization page on the nwagives.org site. Uh, so I'm going to switch over to a nonprofit profile so I can go through um, uh, your dashboard with tools, uh, exactly how to customize your page, and some important uh, features like customizing checkout as well as disbursement information. So when you've clicked on your organization within that drop down menu, it'll bring you straight to the overview screen within your nonprofit's account. Uh, so on this overview screen, um, it's really just, you know, a quick look at some stats since you last logged in. If there's any announcements that you need to know about uh, NWA Gives, that will be listed, that will pop out on the right-hand side. You can easily pop it back in, or if you want, you can show announcements, um, and these will be kept up to date. Uh, so, you know, if there's anything that we feel like you should know, um, or, you know, want to prompt or whatever, then that'll show up on the right hand side. Um, so quick overview of the dashboard. So this is going to be the tools associated with your organization's profile. You can see your organization name here. Uh, again, your overview, just a bunch of quick stats. Uh, your organization page is going to be what you click on to view your organization's profile on the site. If you've never been uh, here before, we do have a quick walkthrough that you can go through on your own that kind of uh, touches on here's where you can find this and then it'll navigate you to a different part. Here's where you can find this. So I highly encourage you to go through this uh, walkthrough uh, to get familiar with your profile. Um, so uh, organization page is where you can go to edit and customize uh, what your public facing view of your profile looks like. Uh, we'll go through that in a minute. Um, fundraising tools are going to be where you can find matching grants, widgets, uh, campaigns. So if you want to, you know, kind of go that extra level and do peer to peer, that's here for you as well. Um, so you can see here, if you click on this, it brings up the tiles within the site, or uh, there's a little carrot icon that you can see on the side here as well. So reports are going to give you, you know, all donations report any recurring donations you may have if you choose to uh, turn those on. A retention report is very important and disbursements is always uh, you know, an important piece too. Uh, and then the checkout flow, donation form, you know, customizing your donation form, customizing your thank you page, customizing your donation receipt. Uh, we want you to be able to really customize this whole process for the nonprofits, or I'm sorry, for the, um, uh, donors that are coming to give to you during NWA gives. And so this, this section really allows you to do that. Uh, and then lastly, settings is where you'll find, you know, general settings like uh, your organization name, your URL, uh, and then disbursement settings, organization info, and then admin. So if you want additional people from your organization to be able to uh, manage the account, then the settings is where you'll go to add or remove those admins. So diving in a little deeper to each of these aspects, uh, organization, let's do this again. organization page is going to be the, the first thing that you should focus on in terms of customizing. So after you register and you're all set, you're all you know, registered for NWA Gives, you want to come to your profile and start customizing this, this organization page. So if some of you are asking, this is not the, the 
public facing view of your page. So um, this is what you see when you're logged in to your site. So uh, you'll be able to see, you know, the edit mode that you can turn on and off. Um, we are one of the things that we like you to be able to do is on page editing, uh, because when I take away all of these, I turn off edit mode, I collapse the dashboard, I scroll down. This is essentially what the page looks like, the public facing view of the page. So if you want to see what your donors are going to see when they come to the site, then you're able to do that while still logged into your account. If you want to make any changes, scroll back up, open the dashboard back up, turn back on edit mode, and now you're back to where we, we first started. Customizing is uh, very simple. Um, you can see the places that you can customize by the little edit icons. If you wanted to upload a logo, you can click the pencil, you can upload an image. Uh, you're able to take images from any of these uh, um, uh, places. Local files is just your computer. So if you have an image downloaded on your computer, click that, upload it, and then um, it saves on the site. Uh, you can edit the banner image. Uh, if you aren't sure, uh, you know, what picture to use, or let's say you're, you know, a small operation, you don't have a lot of great pictures, you can always choose from images in our gallery that we know look good. Um, and then, of course, if you need help picking a banner image or um, anything like that, as you can see, it's just a small portion of the site of the image that you choose. So, um, you know, if you need help picking one or, you know, how, how you want it to look, uh, then just let our support team know and they'll be happy to help. Um, you can also edit the theme. So if you have branding colors or anything like that, you can input those and update that. And it will change uh, the main buttons um, around the, the page, as well as some of the, uh, you know, the goal and the page metrics on the page. If you have any uh, links, it'll change that too. Um, another thing I wanted to show you was uh, the fundraise button. If uh, let's say this year you want to keep it super simple and just use your page as a donation site um, instead of also utilizing peer-to-peer, -peer, you can easily turn off that fundraise button. So when donors come to the site, the only call to action they see is going to be donate. Uh, so totally up to you. Uh, and then page metrics are going to be really nice for donors to come and see when they visit your profile during NWA Gives. You can adjust the page metrics. You can choose the amount raised. You can choose to, you know, if you don't want to show amount raised and you just want to go by donors or vice versa, you can do that as well. Um, if you wanted to calculate overall time or start calculation on a specific date. So, for example, a good date for you to choose would be the um, start date of early giving for NWA Gives, which I believe is March 31st. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah. Okay, great. So uh, you can easily go in and uh, adjust this. If you, you know, if you don't want any metrics showing, then you can just remove those uh, check boxes and then you just have a, a goal if you want or nothing if you choose that as well. If you want to edit your goal or hide the section, you can do that. Um, the goal is you can edit that at any time. Let's say you're, you're, you know, you're doing really awesome on the day of and you've already hit your goal. You are more than welcome to raise your goal in the middle of the day. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's really just to be able for you to be able to show your donors, you know, here's where we're at with our in relation to our goal uh, for NWA Gives. Um, moving on lower in the section, we have an about section, which is where you can go to uh, really tell your story about your organization um, and what, you know, why you're participating in NWA Gives. If you are fundraising for anything in particular, a uh, program, um, you know, uh, you know, what, like whatever your mission happens to be. Uh, if you wanted to focus on a single story, uh, like, for example, if you were uh, an animal organization and you wanted to really highlight, you know, one or two of the animals that you're trying to help, um, this is a great place to do it. There's lots and lots you can do with this section. Uh, or, you know, if you wanted to keep it simple, that's, that's great too. Um, within this section, you have a, a toolbar where you can um, adjust the font size, adjust the text color, you can highlight, uh, you can add paragraph headings, um, you can, uh, you know, add, uh, Quotes, you can do indentations. There's so much you can add. You can hyperlink, you can add images, you can embed videos. 
Um, there's a lot that you can do within this section. So um, if you want to make it, you know, really comprehensive, that's great. Add some pictures, make it visually appealing. If you want to keep it super simple, that's that's great too. There's, uh, you know, there's no right or wrong answer here. Within the edit mode as well on your organization page, you can add different sections um, or hide them. So again, let's say that you're not interested in doing peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, this section right here is the peer-to-peer -peer campaigns that are supporting um, your organization. So let's say that you, you know, would rather hide that section for now, then you can definitely do that. Uh, there's also other sections within your uh, profile page that you can either see or um, you know, hide. So if you wanted to add a media gallery, if you wanted to connect your Instagram or your Facebook galleries, then you can add those sections in. Um, and then you can always re-add them at any time. So it's not, you know, the page is very flexible for what you're needing it for at whatever time you're, you're coming at it. Um, and then, of course, if you wanted to see the page in the public mode, then you can scroll back up here, you can turn off edit mode, and then you'll see all those little edit icons disappeared. And then you can see those, you know, all of the media galleries are hidden. Um, uh, so you can't see those in, in the public mode. Um, and uh, obviously you're still logged in, but you've turned the edit mode off. At the very bottom, there's gonna be some organization data uh, for, you know, just for transparency purposes. So the organs or so donors can, um, you know, see information that you want to give them like contact information and things like that. Um, okay, so uh, if you have any questions or if you um, need help editing your page at any time, our support team is more than happy to help you. Um, their email is support at mightycause.com. They are, as you can imagine, experts. Uh, so uh, if you need help resizing an image or if you're not, you know, you want to see what other organizations have done to make their page look really interesting, feel free to reach out to them and they'll be more than happy to, to help you. Uh, okay, so uh, my next recommendation after you've customized your organization page is going to your checkout and customizing your checkout flow. Again, we want you to really own the process of, you know, your donor's experience on the platform. And so you have the ability to customize your donation form, your thank you page, and your receipt. So as you, uh, so you can see again, we have the on-page editing on your donation form. Um, so with the donation form, you get the ability to do one time or monthly. If you choose, if you would prefer not to offer recurring donations to your donors, that's cool. You can just turn that off. Um, and then if you change your mind, you can always turn it back on. Um, you have the ability to uh, put in custom donation amounts, suggested donation amounts for donors to choose from when they come to the site. You can also add uh, um, a description for each suggested donation amount if you want. So totally optional. Um, if you want more than four, you have the ability to add in more um, as well. Uh, my recommendation at the most would be six. You can add more than that if you want, but typically four is, is you know, gonna be the best. Six is okay. Uh, if you usually go over six, donors start to you know, get a little confused. Um, so my recommendation is four, but you can add more if you want. Of course, donors can enter in any donation amount that they want. Um, so let's say they wanted to do $45, uh, they could definitely enter that amount in as well. Um, if you want donors to be able to add a dedication, you can um, allow them to make that choice here. Adding in a dedication will open up this section for them where they can choose uh, dedicated on behalf of, in memory, in honor, uh, and then they're able to put in their, the information on who they're dedicating their donation to. You will get this information in your donation report. Um, and that way, you know, if your organization, let's say, sends out handwritten cards to people who dedicate donations to someone, then um, you'll have that information to be able to continue doing that. Um, if you wanted to utilize your donation form and uh, provide donors with designations, then you can do that as well. Um, so let's say you wanted them to be able to designate toward the general fund. Just to be very clear, all donations made through NWA gives um, our uh, undesignated, if you will. So you can do with them whatever you want. But if you wanted to give your donors the options of choosing between, let's say, programs or something within the donation form, then you can do that too. If you don't want them to 
uh, you know, have that option at all, then you don't, you don't have to provide it. Um, and then lastly, if you wanted to add an additional um, question on your donation report or on your donation form, um, for example, like if you wanted to collect donors' phone numbers um, or, uh, you know, the company that they're with or, you know, whatever you want to ask them, um, you're able to add that question in. You can add in a reference label. This is what will show up in your donation report. You can choose uh, an answer input type. So depending on what question you want to ask. Um, then you're able to uh, quickly add that in there. Uh, you can make it required if you want. Um, and then, you know, you can, uh, there's additional settings that you can use from there. Uh, our recommendation is the less questions, the better. Um, we want the donor to put in the donation amount and put in their billing information. And that's, that's what they need to be doing. Um, but if you do have other additional information that you want to be able to collect, totally fine. And you do have those capabilities. This bottom part here is not editable, but it does allow you to see uh, what the rest of the donation form looks like uh, as somebody's going through the, the donation form in general. And then of course, as with the organization page, you can come up here, switch it out of edit mode, and then you can see what the user will see when they look at the donation form uh, right here. So you can see that you know those other sections that are optional are now hidden, um, and then they have that, that information here. Uh, and then the other nice feature on this page is this, if you click this, it copies your direct uh, donate link. So if you click that and that's what you send out to donors, then this is where they'll come straight away. Uh, so you can bring them directly to the source uh, if you, you know, if that's what you wanna do, uh, or you can um, uh, give them the link to your organization page, which uh, if you go back to your organization page from the dashboard, then uh, you would just copy the link right up at the top uh, so that you can um, send that out to your supporters as well. Going back to the uh, checkout flow, you can customize your thank you page uh, by you know, adding in a, a title. As you can see, it's the same formatting uh, that we saw earlier. You can add an embedded video. Um, some organizations that I've seen uh, like to have um, you know, a little like peppy videos that they embed of their whole staff saying, thank you so much, we're so appreciative. Uh, or if you have a video already made, this is a good place to put it as well. Uh, but there's a lot you can do with this section too. This, this page is what people will see after their donation goes through. It's like the confirmation screen and they'll see a direct thank you from you uh, on that page. You can also add in an optional button as well. Uh, if you wanted, like this one says learn more and it goes to the organization's actual um, organization website. Um, so there you can, you know, you can add this, you can have this go wherever you want. You can have it say whatever you want um, if you wanted to add uh, the button to continue to steward your donors um, as they make, uh, as they go along in the process. You can also preview the thank you page as well. So you can see again, what your donors will be seeing um, as they go through the, the process. And then lastly, uh, within the checkout flow section that I recommend uh, in terms of customizing is the donation receipt. So you have the ability to add a custom message that's at the top of your donation receipt. Um, so after donors receive the confirmation screen, they'll receive an auto email with their tax deductible donation information. Um, you can add the custom message to that receipt. You can add it here. And then the receipt preview is going to be your organization's logo, uh, the donor's name, and then um, your custom message will show under the um, auto text uh, uh, at the top. So your message here, and then the donation receipt with the tax deductible language underneath that as well. Um, and then you can always send yourself a test receipt so that you can get the, con the receipt um, and see what it looks like uh, for, for your donors. Uh, okay, so um, the next item I wanted to point out to you uh, within, your, within your account is um, your um, reports. Uh, so I wanted to uh, just make sure that you knew where to find your donation report. Um, so here within uh, under reports and donations, you'll find your donation report. You can download that report here. Um, you can filter by time period. 
Uh, you can do a custom date range if you want. It has some prompts right here if you wanted to use those instead. Um, you can search the report for specific donors. Um, it gives you a quick snapshot uh, right up here of how much that you've received within that time period that it's filtered by. The default is 30 days. So if like, let's say in June, you need to reconcile donations um, from April, uh, you can always come back here and filter uh, to you know, the, um, the NWA gives timeframe. And then from here, you can see the different donations, who gave them the amount. Um, this is gonna give you again, a quick snapshot of of those donations that you've received to get the full donation report that will include, you know, if they added any um, dedication information or comments or whatever, um, then you'll want to download that report. Uh, so you have all of the information associated, their address, uh, um, their first and last name, their email, so that you can, you know, do what you will with that information. Um, and then uh, the other uh, piece that I wanted to make sure that you were aware of and knew how to find is uh, your disbursement settings. So that's under settings and then disbursement settings. So here is where you'll be able to see how am I getting my money? Obviously, very important question. Um, so uh, as um, you're setting up your profile, make sure that if you would prefer not to get your disbursements by check, uh, which if, if it is getting sent by check, we're going to be sending it to the mailing address that your organization has on file with the IRS. If you would prefer to get direct deposit, then you can uh, enter in your direct deposit information here um, within that disbursement set setting. Um, it's, it's easy. It's pretty quick. Um, you just enter in your routing and your account number. Um, uh, usually you need to attach a voided check. Uh, and then our team will verify that all the numbers uh, line up and are correct and are good. And then we will approve it. And then um, you'll be able to uh, get direct deposits. The difference between the two, um, besides the obvious, is um, with check disbursements, those are sent once a month uh, around the 10th of each month for the previous month's donations. There is also a $5 administration fee for cutting and mailing the check. Uh, if you choose to go with direct deposit, those disbursements are sent out twice a month around the 10th and the 25th, and there is um, no fee associated with those, uh, it's the money direct to your account. Um, it says the information right here, but I wanted to point that out um, just so you can make the best decision for your organization. Um, okay, couple other items I wanted to point out within your uh, accounts that you get. Um, First, under the fundraising tools, I wanted to just point out the matching grants. So you have the ability to create your own matches. Um, and essentially what that means is um, you as the organization go out and uh, collect you know, some sponsorship funds to use for a match specifically for your organization. No one else has access to this match except for your donors. So um, we'll be talking more about matches in our next webinar. Um, but for now, you can find your matching grant functionality uh, within the fundraising tools section in your dashboard. And we have lots and lots of resources available with our matching grants tool. Um, to create a matching grant, you just go to that match section, click create, and then it'll allow you to create a new match. So there's lots of different settings you can choose um, and different ways that you can go about creating the match. Um, in terms of, let's say you wanted to do a one-to-one -one match, if you wanted to do two-to-two -two match, there's different options available. Um, you could make it as simple as you want and do just a one-to-one -one match every, you know, every dollar gets matched. Um, or if you wanted to have additional uh, settings just to make the match last longer, you can definitely do that too. At the end, you put in an email for whomever gets notified. Um, if the sponsor pays online, then uh, you can add in their email address. As soon as the match is met, the system will send them an email that says your match has been fulfilled. Click here and they'll give them a very special link. Click here to pay your match online. And they'll be able to click that link, pay their match online, and then the site will uh, account uh, for everything behind the scenes. So, um, uh, so they'll be able to do that. Some uh, nonprofits like to put in, you know, whoever among the, you know, whoever's working on this on your end, you can put in um, your email 
and then you'll get the notification and then you can let your mass sponsor know and send them that link if you'd prefer to have the communication with them. Either way uh, works. Um, and then the other fundraising tool I wanted to point out is our widgets. So if you wanted to uh, direct people more towards your website uh, on the giving day, you can create a widget to embed on your site uh, that still runs all the funds through uh, NWA Gives. Um, so there's different widget styles that you can choose from. Uh, if you wanted to you know, see what they look like, uh, then you can do that as well. The mini donation form is nice because then it, it uh, uh, has your suggested donation amounts on there as well. Um, and then uh, you can add a widget label and then the, the code is at the bottom um, and you can put that in your website as well. So uh, that is an option um, for you to be able to utilize if you want. Uh, so I just wanted to point it out. Uh, and then lastly, uh, before I hand it back to Sarah, is I just wanted to go over a couple more settings options. So general settings is where, um, this is where you can do URL customization. If let's say, um, you know, you wanted to, uh, you have a really long nonprofit name and you wanted to shrink it down, uh, you can customize your URL here. Um, you can add in some alternate search names here as well. So when people go to search for your organization within NWA Gives, then uh, they'll be able to, um, you'll come up in their search fields um, depending on what uh, tags. So uh, typically what the search does is it will, it will like look for matching text or phrases on your organization profile page. But let's say um, you wanted to also come up in some alternative search uh, options, then you'd be able to put those search uh, listings here. Um, typically, uh, for most nonprofits, uh, what text shows up on their organization page is enough. Um, but if you know you have a couple different initiatives and you want to make sure that you show up as somebody who happens to search them, then uh, within your settings and the general settings is where you'll be able to do that. Um, same thing for search tags, uh, as well as social sharing. Um, you can add in uh, some social sharing uh, uh, text that if somebody clicks share for your organization, that will come up. And that way, it's a, it's a nice way for you to kind of um, put in what you, you want them to say. Uh, and it's super easy for them to share. Uh, and now, they're definitely welcome to adjust it if they want um, when, they, when they go to share to their social media. But it's, it's, a, it's a great way for you to have um, you know, some control over what people are saying about your organization when they share it on their social media. Uh, Organization info is where you're going to find your address, contact information, etc. If any of this needs to be changed, you can do that right here. Um, legal name, if you know if your legal name has changed uh, since the uh, let's say um, so a little bit of background. Mighty Cause is uh, connected with the IRS in that we do a monthly audit of organizations so that we can make sure that everyone utilizing the site is uh, in good standing with the IRS. Uh, we do a one-time import, uh, and then we just check the status every month after that. If your organization, uh, let's say, was you know imported many years ago, and you've since changed your name, then you can change your uh, you can have your name updated, uh, synced with the IRS in this section um, if that's applicable. Same for mailing address, uh, you can change that here as well. Um, we already went over disbursement settings, and then admins is the um, last thing I wanted to point out before switching it back over to Sarah. Uh, so this section is where you'll be able to add in additional people to help manage your NWA Gives organization profile. Uh, if you wanted to add a new admin, you just click this add new admin button, uh, type in their first and last name and email, their position, uh, and then uh, click send. They'll get an email that welcomes them to the site, gives them instructions on how to sign in, um, and then uh, you know they can go from there. If you need to remove any admins, then you can just click the X icon. Um, and at any time, I don't know if any of you have noticed, if you did, good job, but at any time, if you have any questions on any of the pages that you're on, so let's, for example, matching grants, there is a support icon in the bottom right of your screen. So if at any time you're, you know, need help with a page that you're on, you can click that icon 
and you can browse our, our very comprehensive uh, support forum. The site will suggest articles depending on which page that you're on. So with matching grants, you can see all about matching grants, matching grants FAQ, and all that good stuff. So it kind of tries to help. Um, and then so you can read those articles. If you still need additional help, you can click contact down here and this will send an, an email to our support team and then they can respond, answer your question. Or if you need additional help, they're happy to hop on a phone call um, or you know do a screen share with you uh, if needed. So our goal is to make sure that you feel like you know what you're doing. <laughs> so um, if you need any help, whatever help you need in, in making sure that that happens, um, then don't hesitate to reach out and ask. We're, we're more than happy to help. Um, and with that, um, I'm going to stop my walkthrough. I'll hand it back over to Sarah, and we'll have a Q&A at the end where we're, we'll be happy to um, answer any questions um, that came up. I see a couple of questions, um, but I haven't had a chance to look at them. So we'll make sure to answer any questions at the end um, so that uh, you know we can get those questions answered. So Sarah, back to you. Um, thank you, Don. That was excellent. Um, let's see, I'm gonna screen share again. Alrighty. Um, so moving into using NWA Gives resources, um, I just wanna make sure we mention the really great tools that are available to you all as you get ready for NWA Gives. And this is the NWA Gives trainings and the Mighty Cause Toolkit. The toolkit and the trainings are both located under the resources tab on nwagives.org. So the toolkit is filled with tips and tricks and just a bunch of different support article links, FAQs, walkthroughs, pretty much any info you need to help you get inspired and really start to figure out how to promote your campaign. Um, there is both more in-depth and starter info, kind of depending on what you're looking for. This is this also, also where, where you'll be able to find today's training, which you can rewatch if you feel like it. Um, we'll also post the slides, so you're welcome to review those as well. Um, NWA Gives has also put together some really great video resources, um, so definitely check those out if you haven't already, and you can refer back to all of these as you're planning your campaign, campaign and getting pretty much all set up. So. Nice little graphic for you. All right, so as we wrap up, I just want to make sure that all the support contact info is here for you all to reference. Um, just as Dawn was saying, our Mighty Cause support team was a really great resource before and during your giving day for pretty much anything campaign related. So if you need help setting up your EFT or if you need help figuring out how to strategize around the time frame, um, or even if just if your donor needs another receipt resent, you can reach out to support. Um, we also have a full support library that, uh, like I said, is linked in the toolkit, but if you want to, you can also just jot down support.mightycause.com. Um, and then, of course, reach out by phone or email to the Mighty Cause support team Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Central. Um, and then before we get into the questions, if you all, you, I see we have a bunch coming through. Um, but I want to remind everyone about our next webinar, which is all about strategy. It's happening on March 3rd at 11.30 a.m. Central. We'll be talking all about strategy regarding tools within your NWA Gives account, as well as email, social media tips and tricks to help you make the most of your giving day. Um, and you can register for that by clicking on the Mighty Cause Toolkit. Uh, and of course, if you haven't already, just be sure to register to participate in NWA Gives. It's a super opportunity for your marketing and engagement uh, for your organization. And we've all worked super hard to structure it in a way to make it super easy for you to get up and running pretty quickly. So we will move into the questions. Um, let's see what we have. Um, okay, so one question, do early giving donations count towards the overall totals and prize money? So yes, yeah, so starting on March 31st, um, your donors will be able to start to make their donations while still having it count towards NWA Gives. So online donations from March 31st to April 7th will count towards your giving day totals. Um, how does the peer-to-peer -peer stuff work? So peer-to-peer -peer campaigns are referring to the fundraising pages that were not created most likely by an administrator of your organization. So these are people who are trying to fundraise for you. 
Um, so that was the fundraise button that Don kind of showed. So you can, you're welcome to also click that when you log in and you'll see what your, you know, your fundraisers, your supporters would see. So it'll pop up with a couple different options and they can create a peer to peer fundraiser for you. Um, and then also tune in because we're going to talk about a bunch of peer to peer um, stuff, how all of that works at the next webinar. Is there a way to show that their donation is matched? Um, yes. Yeah, so if you have a live match, there will be a little kind of like sticker on your donate button. I'm pretty sure that's where it is done. Um, and it'll say like you have one live match. Yeah. And then or once the match is met, then the um, the tile will uh, either disappear or it'll like gray out to show that the match has been met. Um, and then uh, which talking through it a little more, I'm wondering if you're actually asking when a donor gives, let's say the match is one to one, when a donor gives $10, will the site show that their donation's been matched $10? Um, I think that's actually what you're what you're asking. Um, so there's two ways that that could happen. We have a setting in the match uh, creation tool that allows your uh, donors match to get a donation to get matched like automatically. Um, so essentially, the site will go up by twenty dollars if they gave ten. Um, if you do it like that, um, I recommend making sure that your um, donor is going to pay online. Uh, so uh, essentially, when they do pay, uh, the site will recalculate everything so that the like pretend match, which, uh, you know, obviously they haven't paid yet, uh, the pretend match is actually matched with their real money um, so that your totals reflect, uh, you know, exactly what's been matched um, and what's been donated. So there's a couple ways to do that. Um, we have lots of information in our matching FAQs that if you click that little uh, support icon in the lower right hand corner, um, you can access those FAQs. You can also talk through it with our support team. They are match experts. Uh, so um, you can definitely talk through all of that with them um, to just get a really good feel for what that looks like and then make the best decision for your organization. Awesome. Um, let's see. If there are monthly donors, do they keep giving through NW Gives and this tool? And then it looks like maybe it was answered. Um, I think, did you touch on that one, Dawn, as well? Uh, no, but I can. So, um, yes. Uh, so, if somebody happens to sign up um, as a monthly donor, or if that's what you want to pull people towards when they come to the site to give, uh, then their donation will just continue being processed. Uh, through the, NW, the nwagives.org site. Um, so, you know, for as long as they have it live. Um, the site is up year round. Um, so it's not like, you know, donations are getting shut down after the, um, you know, giving day is over. Uh, but so if anyone does um, set up a monthly donation during the, uh, the giving day, then their donation will just continue being processed uh, through the site. Um, so, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and then this question, I'm not totally sure. And it's been a little while early on when setting up the organization page, there was a drop down menu toward the bottom where you could identify geographic areas, cities, et cetera. It would not take for NWA communities at that time. Has this been fixed and where is it now operable? Um, um. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. So um, I think I know uh, what this is referencing. Um, so there was a setting that was not turned on in the back uh, of the site. And um, so that's been updated. Um, the geographic areas isn't active for the NWA Gives site specifically. Um, so um, it it should be fixed now. Um, but if you wanted to update anything else in that uh, organization data section, everything is working properly. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, if you all have any other questions, you can post them now. Um, I do want to just mention that the last day to register for NWA Gives is March 1st. So if you haven't done that, um, make sure you head over there and do that first. 
Um, let's see. And then I'll wait and see if anything else comes through. Okay, if not, um, I want to thank everyone for attending. Thank you, Chris, Laura, Carol, I see you popped on as well. Um, and thank you, Dawn, for an awesome uh, demo. I'll post, post the recorded webinar in the Mighty Cause cool Toolkit next. Wow, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> so you all can refer back to it. Um, and then, of course, make sure you sign up for our next webinar, which is all about strategy. We'll talk prizes. We'll talk social media strategy, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising strategy. Um, and that will be happening on March 3rd. And then, of course, one more time, we can't say it enough. If you need any help at all, you are welcome to reach out to our support team whenever you need. Um, so thank you, everyone, for attending. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.